Hey y'all, it's your girl True Siri Eleven Eleven coming back with another video. So the energy I'm picking up on is um someone in their head like if only you knew how much I do love you, okay? They like I should have just told you this because now I'm tripping about this bitch, okay? <laughs> So they want you to know that you're the only one they want you to they want to be with. Alright. We're gonna pull out some zodiac signs on this situation. Here, what, are, what are the zodiac signs involved in this situation? Is that it? Just one zodiac sign spirit? So we have Scorpio, and we have a Capricorn. So how I'm going to do it today, I'm going to do it a little different. We're going to keep the Scorpio's energy on this side. We're going to keep the Capricorn's energy on this side. All right. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's the message for the Scorpio? Someone discovered something. This person said, what I discovered is nuts. So someone realizing something, maybe someone is awakening. Okay, Spirit. Scorpio. Woo. Thank you. Uh, all right, let's get it. All right, so you have a Scorpio that's going to go rags the riches, Scorpio. You about to get some money, okay? Once you get this money, you need to travel west, okay? Start dreaming bigger. The universe wants to help you with your dreams, Scorpio. Only you knew how much I do. They do love you, Scorpio. We have harassment, <clears throat> Scorpio. This person could be harassing you or you could be harassing them, okay? So, it's a Scorpio that's, that's highly, madly in love with someone, but they're, like, hiding it, keeping to themselves. So, Scorpio, you're not paying attention to the signs and synchronicities, okay? Now they're worried about you finding someone new. So, Scorpio, if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn, they're worried about you finding someone new. Because you healed. So, Scorpio, congratulations. Whatever situation you was in, you healed. You must have went in and did the work. Congratulations. All right. Now, Scorpio, spirit is advising you to study shamanism. Okay. You're going up against the whole covenant. So, it's a Scorpio out here going up against the whole covenant. All right. That, and this covenant don't have no self-worth. All right. Now, Scorpio, you're supposed to be... Helping your soulmate awaken, all right? So whatever you went through as far as your healing process, you should be teaching it to whoever your soulmate is. And God will uplift and strengthen you, okay? So with Scorpio, go toward your person beyond because you heal, all right? And whoever was around you, well, you know, I'm not, I know what's going on, but we're going to let the chorus See you. Spirit. That's, what's this Capricorn energy? So, what's a Capricorn could have got a Scorpio tattooed on them? So, your ex is a karmic <clears throat> Capricorn. 
someone's love is not going to change as long as they feel the same. Someone is an energy that they want to take your pain away. It said, I'm here. Your ex is a piece of shit. And someone get nasty when they drink a henny. Okay. So Capricorn, someone out here love your vibe. They did spell work on your relationships. So Capricorn, you got someone out here doing spell work on your relationships. Like. <laughs> okay, so I'm hearing you wanted my penis, and then you got it, then you started choking, then you realized how big it was, okay, so this situation with the Scorpio and Capricorn was sex, sexual, she tries to be just like you, she's a copycat, so it's a Capricorn out here trying to be just like someone, but they they just being a copycat. Keep your crown chakra covered. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, <laughs> keep your crown chakra covered because they're doing um, black magic on your crown chakra. They like get your ideas and steal them and shit. You're a survivor. Be proud. So if you know you've been through some shit and you're a survivor, be proud. Your third eye chakra is open. I'm hearing prosecutors want to help me, but I hope they don't do me dirty. The devil rides me in my sleep. So someone was being controlled by the devil, but they they waking up. So Scorpio, you could have been being controlled by the devil, but you waking up or Capricorn. The roles could be reversed, okay? So Scorpio, you feel like this is not your energy, but this is to flip the roles, okay? Independent queen that has her own. Call on your ancestors and your angels. I'm hearing everybody ain't your friends. So Capricorn, you're around some people. They're not your friends. They secretly can't stand your ass, okay? You need to protect your kids' energy, Capricorn. Someone could be working on your children. The ones you think is your friends, they're working on your children. Because they jealous of your happiness, Capricorn. They plan on ghosting you or they already ghosted you. Do not go back to your ex. New love is coming. So Capricorn, don't go back to whoever you was dealing with. Because you do have new love coming. It's more than five people involved in this mess. So Capricorn and Scorpio, y'all was in a um was y'all in a covenant and y'all decided to bounce, like, or y'all battling a covenant. And they want y'all happiness. They jealous because y'all happy or something. And your ex is a karmic Capricorn. Do not go back to your ex. All right. Look, stay single because the person you're dealing with is a narcissist. All right. They're unwilling to change. Just move on with your life. So, um, yeah, you're around people that's not your friends. All right. And you got to learn that lesson. And once you separate your, you know, move away, take your energy back. And this goes for both the Scorpio and the Capricorn. You have to remove yourself out the situation and let them get their karma. As long as you stay with them or go back to them, you're going to receive their karma too. All right. So I'm hearing around, when you're not around, I protect your name. I don't let a nigga talk about you. Excuse my French, but that's I'm, I'm channeling, okay? This is what someone's thinking or saying, all right? Someone's partner talked about them and dragged their name through the mud. Okay. So we're going to get some tarot on this real quick. We're going to clarify a couple cards. That's it. I'm not going to clarify all the cards. These the ones that stand out to me. And that's helping your soul made awaken, Scorpio. <coughs> mm. And you're going up against a covenant. I want to find out about these. 
Spirit, clarify, help your soulmate awaken. Help your soulmate awaken. Ooh, that's too many. Spirit, can I get one or two? Yeah, someone's under illusions. Someone could have put spells on you or poisoned your mind about someone. Okay. Help your soulmate awaken, Spirit. Can I get one card, please? So we have the Queen of Cups. And we have Nine of Wands. So it's a Pisces Cancer Scorpio out here feeling like the Wounded Warrior. Someone, Scorpio, did someone turn their back on you and left you scarred? And they got you scared for your life? Scorpio, you've been breaking all the rules for this Pisces Cancer Scorpio. So, Scorpio, you are healed. You need to get out of this situation you're in. Move forward. Stay away from this person. Because this person don't have no self-worth. Okay? Thank you. Yeah, they've been doing magic on you. Okay? But it's in a reverse. Alright? So, Scorpio, someone been doing black magic on you. It could be a Capricorn or it could be... Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. If you're a Scorpio, dealing with the Scorpio, okay? Thank you. Yeah, because you're an emperor. All right. But someone tried to bind you to the devil. So if you're in a relationship with someone, they trying, they bounded, they binded you, all right? And they wanted you to feel left out in the cold. They wanted you to feel less than. They wanted you not to have nothing. They could have tried to get you evicted or put you out or something. Okay. Now we're moving on to this Capricorn. Energy. Spirit. What's this Capricorn? Energy? Matter of fact, we're going to clarify this covenant. More than five people involved. Spirit, clarify is more than five people involved in this mess. Clarify is more than five people. Alright. Alright, so we have the full and a reverse. Someone did something foolish. We have seven of swords and a reverse. Someone tried to set you up or trap you. That's this to keep you binded with someone. Alright. Because they was holding on too tight. It could have been holding on too tight to money or just holding on too tight to you. And then we have chariot. This is fast movement forward when it's in an upright or it's about a police officer. But it's in a reverse. Was you dealing with a crooked police officer that did some foolish shit to try to trap you or set you up? Okay. But it's in a reverse. So if something was coming in quick, it slowed down or... This is a crooked police officer involved, okay? So whatever you did that was foolish, this crooked officer trying to set you up. At the bottom, we have... The four of wands in a reverse. So did you um come in between a divine union, Capricorn? Or did you steal a home or an inheritance or something from someone? And you trying to hold on to it and don't want to let it go? Everyone around you going to go shoot, you know, because you did this. No one going to want to deal with you because you did some foolish shit. You could have lied. Oh, shit. Someone going to be sick. Or this is... Either sick or a death, okay? A funeral. So, Capricorn, whatever you did, you making yourself sick or they, someone did something to make you sick, the roles could be reversed, okay? Remember I told y'all that? But this is justice for someone, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Justice being served. This was justice being served. So, Capricorn, if you're sick... 
This is your karma. Okay? For whatever you did to someone. Oh, excuse me, spiritual bird. This is about secrets and things that are hidden. And it's in a rebirth, which means whatever secret or foolish shit you did, it's going to be known. It's known already because it's in a rebirth. These secrets are no longer secrets. Now you're feeling burdened for juggling. Could have been juggling someone's money, juggling someone's job, juggling a man, whatever. Spirit is going to step in and offer someone an opportunity because of what you did. So your downfall is going to be someone's upcoming because of everything you did to them. You stabbed them in the back, pretending like everything is fine, but it's really not. You don't want to walk away. You want to keep it going. But what you, if you notice, people around you are walking away, all right, because of what you did. They don't trust you now, all because you want to wish fulfillment, okay? Something was illuminated, all right? Something about a child. See, it's a child in here. Did someone find out a child wasn't theirs or something? Okay. There we go. Cut the deck. So someone wanted wish fulfillment on hurting someone or someone dying. So um, if someone was like on their deathbed or you was wishing bad on someone, if you, what you put out, you get back. Okay. So we have death. Oh, Spirit said that's the truth. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I got the cards the wrong way. Yeah. That's what I'm picking up on. Where are we at? 15, 55? <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. I don't got my glasses on, so I had to put my little stuff on the camera. Yeah, I got my damn hair rag on. <laughs> Someone watching all their hard work go down the drain. They really put some work into this shit. It's toil and labor. That's hard labor. That's hard work. All right. It's a mature man. All right. You could be an older man. You could be gray. All right. Number five could be um significant to you. Or the number 38. What's the outcome of this situation, Spirit? Give me the outcome, please. Thank you. So we have. We have this main female, but she in the reverse. So are you with someone you ain't supposed to be with, pretending that she was your your main female? We have distant horizon. All right, someone wanted to go on a trip or someone trying to run, it ain't going to work. All right. Ah. Whew. I told y'all. Someone's sick or it's going to be a funeral, man. Oh my goodness. I don't like this energy, y'all. So, once someone passes away, someone is going to get sudden wealth. Okay. Ooh. Did someone pass away and leave someone money? And someone stole their money? Hold on. Okay. Someone stole an inheritance or something? What's the outcome, Spirit? Occupation in the reverse. Someone either losing a job or someone could have made you lose a job. Someone could have got you fired or something. Or you, you're you going to get fired from a job or something. Something about a privileged lady in despair. Someone wanted this privileged lady to be in despair, but it ain't work. Is it a reverse? <laughs> yeah. If you have courtship in a reverse. Someone could have tried to mess deal with this person or come in your life. But it, they, they weren't supposed to be there. We have mature woman in a reverse. House in a reverse. False person. And we have a message. So... Did someone keep your house? This mature woman that's in a reverse. She tried to take someone's house. The house is in a reverse. Or she going to lose her job and get kicked out of her home for being this fake false person. It's going to be a message coming in about this. You could be getting a message. It could be someone. It could be a letter coming in. You have a phone right here. It could be through letters, through um, phone call. It could be email. All right. 
Someone's going to get a message to you about this whole situation. And it was the whole covenant that was keeping this from you. Okay. They were working together to keep you from getting this. Because the next one come up. Community. The whole fucking community was in on this shit. All right. Even a crooked official. This could be, um, because this says official person. But it's in a reverse. They're crooked. It could be a crooked judge, a crooked lawyer, crooked cop, crooked prosecutor. Okay? Trying to set somebody to fuck up. A mature man. Someone trying to set a mature man up because of some, they didn't want them. So a mature man could have walked by, um, walked by. Hmm. Someone could be walking by your home watching you. I don't know why I say walk by. But a mature man left this lover alone. All right? Because they wasn't held in high honor or they didn't hold you in high honor since you was a child. All right? Or it could be your own child. Okay? Hmm. So, Scorpio, whoever you are, and you know who your soulmate is, you should be praying for them. You should be sending them good shit, you know, good energy. Help them wake up somehow. Or go to your person. Yeah, y'all heard that vibrating vibration if you heard it. That's confirmation. So, Scorpio, if you know who your soulmate is, go toward them. It's your job to wake your soulmate up. When y'all are soulmates, y'all share the same soul, okay? Anything you do to your soulmate, it's going to go to you. Y'all share the same soul. So if you woke up, you're supposed to go toward your soulmate and wake them up as well, okay? Um, I'm trying to think of what closing messages can I give y'all. You're going to get some spiritual as fuck. Um, Spirit, give me a couple ending messages, some positivity to spread with this situation here. The Scorpio. What are the messages for the Scorpio? Thank you. Can I get some messages for this Capricorn? A couple messages for the Capricorn. Thank you. Hold on one second. Let me grab my glasses. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Scorpio, the messages for you are fuck what they say. Okay, um, Scorpio, fuck what they say. What someone or anyone else says about you doesn't matter. Really and truly, it doesn't. If you heard it secondhand, it super doesn't matter. And if the person isn't your higher power, your boss, or your best friend, it super duper doesn't matter. Think about how much more time you have to dream of cool new shit if you really and truly stop worrying about what people say about you. You think Martin Luther King cared about what people said when he wasn't there? No. He was out marching and doing good shit. Let him talk. Do your shit, Scorpio. Okay. People aren't ignoring you, love bug. So, Scorpio, you think people are ignoring you or not? People are busy as fuck with their lives. The way to stop feeling ignored is to get busy with yours. Take up um, knitting if you have to. Get into it. No one is ignoring you. They're probably just reading or something. Go read. The day you stop worrying whether or not someone is ignoring you is the day you get busy as fuck living your own life. So... Scorpio, live your own life. Stop worried about what people think about you. Spirit said, fuck what they say. Okay? We have, your wound is probably not your fault, but your healing is your responsibility. So, Scorpio, whatever happened to you, it's your responsibility to heal from this shit. All right? You have to take what they did on its chin. Okay? And, and go within and heal from this shit. 2444, as I said that. Someone need to go Google that angel number. Might be a message in there for you. You'll never be free of the people who harmed you until you take full responsibility for your own healing. No matter what family you were born into, what body you got stuck in, or what weird shit has happened to you along the way, this is your life and no one else's. 
Be tender with the parts of you that are hurt and the parts of you that are struggling. Take ownership of your whole beautiful, dented piece of piece together self. If you blame someone for who you are, you give them ownership over you. Okay? That sucks. Wet shit doesn't it. What? <laughs> that sucks wet shit, doesn't it? Okay. Focus on what you can do right now to be your very own badass healer. Bam. Heal yourself. All right? Your wound is not your fault. We we gathered that. But it's your own responsibility to heal from this shit. You letting this situation keep you stuck and stagnant. You got to heal and move on. All right? You feeling like death got to be easy because life is hard. Life is what you make it. It's hard because you make it hard. Okay? Once you start laughing, you start healing. Get out your feelings. Stop wearing your feelings on your sleeve. Laugh. Go out and do some shit you was when you was a child that you enjoy. That's how you heal. Go in private and cry this fucking shit out. Write it down and go burn it. Or forgive it up to God and then start living your life. Get away from this shit. You have to start healing. Laughter. Oh, confirmation. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> Okay, my fault, y'all. But I was saying, you know, you, you got to heal. You got to laugh this shit off. Like, go ahead, do something fun. But the phone call I got was from my son asking me, um, Mom, did you remember to put the incense out? So if someone burning incense, put that shit out. Don't leave it burning when you're not home. It could be a fire or something. All right. So there you go, Scorpio. Now, on to you, Capricorn. Own your awesome and stay humble as fuck. Own who you are and stay humble as fuck, okay? List five things that you love, that you love about yourself. Now list five ways you're just like every other human who's ever lived. Go forth, you fabulous little snowflake, and be like everyone else with your unique badass. What? Be like everyone else. Okay. Confirmation spirit said be like everyone else. <laughs> Own your awesome and stay humble as fuck. I don't know what type of lesson that is. We'll get one more for you. Cause... Call bullshit on your bullshit. So you, okay. I know what it's saying. You always calling out someone else's bullshit, but you never call out your own bullshit, Capricorn. Call bullshit on your own bullshit. All right, stop pointing fingers at everybody. Take ownership of the shit you did. Take accountability for what you're doing, okay? Once you get out of a rut, the first step is to get tired of the bullshit. Your bullshit, their bullshit, the world's bullshit. Spend the day honoring your sensei of deja vu. <laughs> Once you can spot the old shit, you can start to stop the old shit. You need to find something new to do. All right, you're doing the same old shit. And at the bottom, we have, I'm going to end it with these two, okay? Your gut knows what's up. Trust that bitch. So, Capricorn, you need to trust your gut. Whatever you your, your mind is telling you, whatever your gut, I mean, is telling you, listen to it. Your gut wa wants to talk, and it always has your back. All you got to do is listen up and not be a punk. <laughs> and whatever it's got to say. you So Capricorn, you acting like a pussy pretty much, all right? Even if you're fuzzy on the right thing to do, your gut usually knows what the wrong thing to do is. Maybe the right thing to do is anything but what you're tempted to do out of spite, fear, or impatience. Yeah, probably that. Like 99% usually, all right? The world doesn't owe you anything. Capricorn, so you feeling like the world owes you something or someone owes you something, the world or anyone don't owe you shit, all right? Acting like the world owes you something keeps you in a mentally, in mentally of scar, um, a mentally of scarcity, all right? Keep you scared, keep you all fucked up in your head. Here's the hard truth. The universe never borrowed anything from you, okay? All the gifts she's given you so far have been gifts. If you treat everything in your life like that, you'll be a lot happier unless you're a dick. <laughs> then you'll be grumpy. 
It's your choice, boo boo. All right, so Capricorn, the world don't owe you shit, especially the universe. Okay, so call bullshit on your own bullshit. That's what I have for y'all. Peace, love, light, and blessings to you.